the vast terrain in Wallaby, especially the airspace, uh, allows us to uh, trial many things. In this context, uh, we are trying to trial two things, concurrent flying of the tactical UVs as well as the H1 across the SAF. And second thing is to validate our coordination between manned and unmanned aircrafts uh, with the RSAF and the Army. The V-15, which is able to conduct last mile intelligence and ISR gathering for our troops on the ground. As the Heron 1 uh, operators, we can fly the Heron 1 at a much higher altitude and uh, we can have an overall situational awareness of the battlefield. We can have eyes on a particular target, we can then lace the target for the Apaches. UV Command has also introduced the Mobile Imagery Intelligence Dissemination System where we are able to pipe our feed from our UAV uh, straight to the uh, end users on the ground. Not just to the control stations or the command posts, but also the uh, Army V-15 operators who can then uh, monitor the uh, targets in a much closer manner. This coupled with our artificial intelligence and data analytics uh, capabilities, we are then uh, able to utilise various capabilities such as auto-target detection uh, for quick and efficient target uh, detection, classification and recognition, as well as uh, allow us to foresee and predict possible movements of the enemy as well as uh, potential targets. This is my first time training in Australia under Agri-Kai Kualabi, which enables us to do concurrent flying of different platforms such as the V-15. Flying of different classes of the UAV requires complex coordination between the operator to achieve mission success. In addition, training in foreign terrain requires our operators to be more adaptable and this will actually help us when we are out in the field. As the V-15 operator myself, this home my skill set and competency of the platform.